let's take a look what oil components are present in this box. This is the first look of the device we get. This is our first impression of the product. And here, as you can see, the branding of the product is given, like the Mokugo, it's written on top of it. And when we flip it, we find a couple of more details, like the serial number of the device and the QR code associated with it. Yeah. So this one is the magnetic power adapter. And beside it is the lock slot. These are for the active cooling. So these are the four uh, input and output ports. Two ports are for the inputs, port 1 and port 2, and two other output, output, uh, output port 1 and port 2. This one is the USB Type-C. This will be used for connecting our system with the Mokugo device. And this is a 16-channel digital input and output. And this is the two-channel power supply. Yeah. Moving on, let's look at the other accessories that we have got with it. This is the power supply cable, okay. This is the power supply cable. This is the magnetic power cord. This is the C-type adapter that we have got with it. These are the oscilloscope probes. And this is a 16 channel wire and these are again the probes we have also got a handy manual with it this manual has all the details about the accessories and the features and the working characteristics of it yeah so that's pretty much it so for downloading the mokugo app we type mokugo search engine And go to the first link available. Yeah. So here in the products section, when we hover over it, we find all the hardware types like Moku Pro, Moku Lab, Moku Go. And here is the software section. It can be downloaded for Windows and Mac, iPad as well. But as you can see, in iPad, it would only support Moku Pro and Moku Lab and not Moku Go. So I'm downloading it for the desktop. And when I click on download, then I'm prompted to enter my details. So I will be entering the details. And our device is Moku Go. So, We are now saving the file that is downloaded and we save it in the download section. Let it be in the download section. Yeah, so now the download is completed and we see it in our download section. Here it is. So I'm opening the app. Um, Here it is getting installed. No, finish it. The app opens, and now I'm connecting my system with the device.
connected. Yeah. So our device is detected by the application and it's now connected. So guys, this is how the device looks like and we have already seen it in the first impression but just to show you again from all the angles and now we are going to connect this device to the power supply. This is a magnetic power adapter and now we are going to turn it on. As you can see, uh, we turned it on. The LED indicator has glowed. And now we have connected our system with the Moku device. The system can be your desktop or a Mac or an iPad. Let's open the Moku application. This is how the interface of the application looks like and it has detected our Moku device with the serial number on it. And now we can use it as any instrument of our choice as we can see the options oscilloscope, spectrum analyzer, waveform generator and we are now going to use it as a waveform generator. So we have selected the waveform generator and this has now generated our waveform signal. For making the connections, we are connecting one probe to the channel 1 of the oscilloscope and the another side is connected to the output 1 port of the MokuGo. So basically, the MokuGo is acting as a waveform generator and the generated waveform is fed to the input of the oscilloscope. This is how the probe connection looks like. This is how we connect the cables. Now we are turning it into the auto mode. We have clicked the auto button on the oscilloscope and we can see the same wave is detected in the oscilloscope. We need to verify that the frequency of the waveform generated by the Moku Go is same as detected by our oscilloscope. So the Moku Go app shows that the wave has generated a frequency of 10 megahertz and the same is verified in the oscilloscope as well. So this device works fine as a waveform generator. Let's verify how well it works as an oscilloscope. So we go back and we are back to the home page and we select oscilloscope. Now we are connecting the one side of the probe to the input one of the MoCo and another side of the probe cable is connected to the output of our conventional waveform generator. So this waveform generator uh, So this waveform generator has generated a wave and it has generated a wave of frequency 2280 kHz. Now let's uh, zoom it out a bit. We can see that the waveform generator has generated triangular waveforms that can be seen in the oscilloscope and we can go to the measurement section and verify that the frequency shown in the waveform generator is same as the one shown in our oscilloscope and we can also add amplitude to it. So the MOKU works great as an oscilloscope as well.